1981 and President Reagan orders the capture of two terrorists for their roles in the Iran hostage crisis. Doing so confirms that it was a man known as Perseus who was responsible. Reagan orders a black operation to track him down. Hudson and Adler then recruit Mason, Woods, Sims, Lazar, Park and Bell. Adler works with Bell to revisit an old Vietnam mission to uncover encrypted intel. With this, it's off to East Berlin to capture and kill Anton Volkov, a Russian mafia boss linked to Perseus. Volkov spills the beans on a stolen nuke, so Woods and Bell head to a Spetsnaz facility and discover Operation Greenlight, an American secret program that has planted nukes in every major European city in case of a Soviet invasion. After a failed mission to find key intel, Adler and Bell infiltrate KGB headquarters and retrieve the list of sleeper agents. The trail then leads them to Cuba to commandeer the stolen Greenlight nuke. Bell has to make a huge choice, save Lazar or Park. With the disaster of Cuba, Adler decides there's only one option left and starts to press Bell further by poking a needle straight through his iron into the brain. Bell is revealed as an agent of Perseus and brainwashed to locate Perseus' headquarters. Leads the team to Slavetsky Islands, destroying the transmitters needed to send the detonation signal. Perseus goes into hiding, Adler takes Bell for a private chat and the story ends with both drawing guns and shots fired.